good evening chocolate lovers. Welcome to Chocolate TV episode 211. Uh, today I thought we'd try the vintage chocolate of 2014 from Valrona. Two of them, they've got four different labels. This is El Petregal uh, from Venezuela. It is Criollo bean, uh, the variety Porcelana, uh, it, which means porcelain or white. So this is made from cocoa beans that are quite a lot more uh, see-through and more, uh, yeah, you could call them lighter in color than other varieties of the cocoa bean. And Loma Sotavento uh, from the Dominican Republic. Both these chocolates are from one plantation, cocoa beans from one plantation. If you hear some sizzling, yes, there's some cooking going on in that direction. Uh, 64% cocoa, both is cocoa mass, it's sugar, it's cocoa butter, it is um, natural vanilla and it's some soy lecithin for to emulsify the thing. Uh, this is Trinitaria beans, this is Criollo bean, a special variety. Uh, there are two other, Ampamaki and, and Gran Corral, which have been around a lot longer, I think. This came just two years ago, and this came three years ago. The other ones have been uh, ten plus years. Uh, vintage chocolates often comes out in October uh, from the Valderona plant. I guess they harvest the beans and then they use the same kind of recipe to make the bar because it's always 64% cocoa. I thought you could change that according to the cocoa, how it's grown during the year and things like that, but no, they stick to 64%. Uh, well, I broke this one. Looking at the color, uh, the Loma Sotavento from the Dominican Republic. The only bad thing with uh, the Valrona uh, vintage plantation chocolates is they actually do not, doesn't say uh, ecological or fair trade. If they could do that, this would be one of the best products in the world, actually. Uh, well, uh, dark brown uh, with a reddish tint to it. Um, let's smell it. We've got some orange mandarin notes. Dry chocolate as well. Some red tea. Some cedar box character, paper, dusty. But there's a uh, sour or citrusy fruit up front. Let's try it. Sweet and sour chocolate with a hint of bitterness that enhances uh, the sugar and complements the acidity. It's like having a mandarin orange and uh, some actually some chocolate in your mouth. Together with a hint of vanilla, a hint of cinnamon, and you swallow it down with a nice mild cup of red tea. Turning more dry on the back end. Finishes off medium long finish with a dried cocoa flavor at the end. Not bad. It's okay. Uh, I'm going to give, give this uh, 7 out of 10 for the Lomas Sotavento. Let's go to El Pedregal, Venezuela. Didn't say where it was. No, it doesn't say. It doesn't say in 
which part of Venezuela. But the Padrona has uh, uh, getting involved in, in this plantation solely a uh, purpose to grow Criollo porcelana beans, which is one of the hardest uh, cocoa beans to grow actually. I think there's a the ratio one flower, oh sorry, one cocoa pod per two fa per thousand flowers. You need a thousand flowers to get one cocoa pot. Uh, not quite the same. Uh, it is 64 percent, but this this uh, uh, El Pedregal is a somewhat uh, lighter in color, uh, somewhat more brown and red in color than uh, the Loma Sotavento. And let's break it off. And that's only normal because porcelana chocolate usually are, are, are a lot more lighter than, than other chocolate due to the bean is have a fair complexion. Uh, let's smell this one. Also a kind of citrus and, and red berry nose, which is quite common in cocoa. There's something else. I can't put my finger on it at the moment. We've also got some tiny hints of tobacco, tiny hints of, of uh, dry uh, cocoa powder, but fresh mushroom. Or well, it's coming from the kitchen, I don't know. Yeah. Fresh mushroom, <laughs> lemon lime. Red berries, coffee, no tea, no coffee, and chocolate. Let's try it. A lot more acidity uh, on the first initial attack. It, it's actually like getting a lollipop, a fruity lollipop in the mouth. And you got gooseberry, uh, red currant, lime, orange, all kinds of berries and fruit in that lollipop. Mid on, you get more. Cocoa nuances, dry, kind of woody, a bit of hint of vanilla. There's still a, a fair amount of acidity lingering alongside that more chocolate bitterness. Also got some sour cherry. In the end is very dry, uh, lots of cocoa, uh, dry cocoa, bitter cocoa in the back end. The acidity kind of drop off and you get, in the end actually gets a lot more like usual chocolate. Hmm? Nice, uh, I like this one. Uh, I'm going to give this one 8 out of 10, and that will be all for episode 211, and I'll try to do another one next Monday. Bye.